Hello everyone. So I wanted to talk today about some thoughts that were triggered by a post that I saw and a comment on said post <laughs> because I find this uh, comment to be a common thought process, especially among women. And I'm not going to get too much into the details as to who posted it and, and uh, you know, the details of the comment because it was a long one, but just the general theme. And that general theme is softness and softness as it relates to femininity. I feel like there's a lot of confusion around this topic and I'm not surprised because a lot of goddess empowerment slash feminine empowerment movements and communities seem to be promoting femininity, but they're not giving so much detail as to how to go about that, as to how to go about uh, embracing one's feminine power and the feminine form of power. So what's happening is people are kind of going into the default of what they feel power is. And that's typically associated with aggression, um, pushiness, demanding, being demanding, um, stuff like that. Okay. Um, and also being, you know, more so masculine and what those qualities, how they express themselves. So this is why I feel it necessary to kind of clarify some things because not enough people are doing it. Okay. So the person that this, I'm not going to talk too much about the post because I feel like the comment pretty much explains everything. But this person that uh, made the comment was a woman and she said that she doesn't like the idea of being soft because if you're soft, you'll get abused, taken advantage of, um, you know, you won't be respected and all this stuff. And she said that when she was soft and she was with some person that she was with, that she bent over backwards for them and, you know, she didn't have her own career and, uh, you know, basically she, she, <laughs> her energy was completely depleted dealing with this person and being what she felt was soft. But when I read this comment, I'm like, that's not softness. That's not softness. And I, part of me was tempted to comment on the comment, but personally, from what I'm noticing, people are quite unhinged lately and you never know who's unhinged and who's not. And I personally would rather not argue if people are on that side of the spectrum. <laughs> I'd rather just talk about it in my own community and just share my thoughts with people that I know for the most part are going to be civil. Right. So I'd rather just talk about it like this, but this needs to be clarified because softness has nothing to do with weakness. It's not about being weak. And this is what a lot of people are assuming, that if you're soft, you're weak. But when we're talking about softness in terms of feminine energy, we're talking about vulnerability. We're talking about openness, uh, flexibility. Um, we're talking about receptivity. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about softness. And all of that has nothing to do with allowing yourself to be disrespected. Um, it has nothing to do with being codependent. Um, it has nothing to do with allowing yourself to be abused and cheated on. Those two things are not synonymous with each other. Okay. They have nothing to do with each other actually. Okay. Um, but what I'll say is, like I said, I understand the confusion because we assume as women, as we start remembering our feminine energy and our feminine power, we assume that what that's going to look like because we're not getting enough guidance about it is it's going to be forceful. It's going to be pushy. It's going to be demanding. And it's going to be like, if we're setting boundaries, okay, I need you to do this and you're going to do this and you're going to do this and you're going to do this. Basically just making demands. And when we're coming into our feminine power, that's, that's, that is the complete opposite of how you hold your ground in your feminine power. Right. And when we think about femininity and vulnerability, and receptivity. All of that is required on the spiritual journey, just in general, whether you're a man or a woman, there is a requirement um, to allow yourself to open up, to be vulnerable, to allow yourself to feel, to be in the body. All of that is, is associated with feminine energy. 
And part of the journey of women coming into their femininity is to allow themselves to be vulnerable with themselves, to allow themselves to be receptive to their own energy, to what they feel, um, to be receptive in the sense where your uh, mind and your, I guess, personality or whatever is not in the foreground all the time trying to control everything, uh, trying to make sure that every piece is in its rightful place and we got it, it's a very staccato kind of energy. And the journey of femininity is, you know, really has to do with releasing all of that. But really what is happening is you're integrating more trust, you're integrating more relaxation, more peace. And this happens naturally as you heal. As you heal, as you release old narratives and all the past, you know, all that stuff, <laughs> all the stuff that we're working to heal. As you release all those things and you work to um, ground and anchor in your highest expression, your spiritual expression, and the truth of who you are, you anchor that in. And what that does is you are able to basically fall into a space within yourself where you're not always in the foreground. You're able to center yourself in your inner space because you've created enough room on the inside to be able to do that because you've healed. Um, and because you're healing, you're releasing, releasing the need to control. And more than likely, if you're going through this healing journey, life has put you in situations where you have to stop controlling everything. It's like you almost can't anymore <laughs> after some point. So it's like you have to release the need to control everything. And when you're able to do that, you're able to just kind of let things go, to allow, to trust, to be receptive to the flow of life and therefore be receptive to abundance, to be receptive to the flow of energies in your own body, um, to be vulnerable and embracing of your own personal cycles, which every day you're probably going to feel different or every few days you might feel different, being receptive to that and not feeling the need to control how you feel um, and not ignoring your personal cycles. All of that has to do with being soft, with being soft, with being vulnerable, with being with being in your feminine energy. That's where our power comes from. And the thing, what makes this, one of the reasons why it's so powerful, not the only reason, but one of the reasons why it's so powerful is that when you are connected to that inner space, you're also strongly connected to your intuition. You can hear your inner voice so clearly. You essentially become stronger in who you truly are. Not what all the stuff that's been created based on the past, you've cleared a lot of that out or you've changed your relationship to what you've experienced. And now you're able to really ground it to who you truly are because you're becoming more present. You're becoming more present. And because you're more present and you know who you are, that is your strength, which means that you don't do things that don't feel right. You don't allow people to pull you around, to toss you around, to tell you what's right for you because of what they think and they project their fears onto you. And here we go, going back into what the comment was talking about, allowing yourself to, being to be taken advantage of. And you're able to hold that space without being pushy, without being forceful, without being aggressive. You're able to be assertive and you're able to express what your needs are. You're able to make a request of what you want someone to do and how you want them to support you. And you're able to set boundaries in a way that's healthy. See, people think that when you set boundaries, you have to be aggressive about it. You actually don't. I need my laptop for light because the light in here sucks. But you don't have to be aggressive to set boundaries. You don't have to be aggressive to be strong. 
There's a certain kind of strength that doesn't require pushiness or aggression. Just from you knowing who you are, knowing what your truth is, being firmly rooted in love and the love that's in your heart, um, placing yourself as a priority because you know how important it is for your energy to be you know, well taken care of and nurtured before you can take care of anybody else. When you're in that, no one could take advantage of you, at least not without your permission. No one can take advantage of you. No one's going to be able to abuse you and push you around because the power of feminine softness is that. It's being vulnerable enough, open enough, receptive enough to be connected to your own inner cosmic space, to know who you are, to trust in the flow of life. That softness is really you allowing yourself to surrender to the flow of life. And it's not to say that you don't have a sense of will. You do. But it's in alignment with what the truth is. And it's connected to divine intelligence. It's not forceful will. It's not will that's based on... Um, past wounds and um, trying to prove something it's a heart it's a heart aligned will so like I said before only doing things that feel right they don't necessarily have to make you feel happy but it'll feel right so tell me who is going to actually take advantage of you cheat on you abuse you and all that other stuff when you know who you are how is that that can't happen why because you're connected to your feminine softness like i said softness is not weakness softness just means that you trust in the flow of life you you trust in your connection to the divine you trust that you and the divine are one and you allow life to support you. You allow yourself to be helped, which means you feel you don't feel the need to be independent. I, I don't know. I personally, I don't believe in that whole, oh, I'm independent stuff. No one's completely independent. And it's okay for you to receive help. That's an important part of being in your feminine softness too. That's the other thing that is promoted is this idea that femininity is synonymous with complete independence. And no one does anything by themselves. I don't care what they say. I do believe that femininity, when you're really strongly connected to it, you're able to create from that inner space. But the way it's expressed, the way that it comes to you, the way it's reflected back to you is through other people. So even though you're creating it, it's still it's still coming through other people. So there will be people that are going to assist you and you're going to be helped. So even when you're creating from your life force and that um, creative energy within you, you're still receiving from other people and they're still helping you. And the feminine, feminine energy <laughs> calls us to surrender to that. It calls us to know what our limits are, know that we're human, to listen to our bodies, to know when to just... I actually feel like the feminine energy is very relaxing. It's very just... It's back here. It's, it's back here. So I know it's hard to describe. Those that can feel it know what I'm talking about. But when we're in that feminine energy, it's like we're leaning into the back of the chair. I like to call it leaning towards the spine energetically. Where when we're not in that energy, our energy and our awareness is always in the front. It's always trying to control and manipulate. But when you're in that softness, you're relaxing, your energy's relaxed to the back, which means that you can observe, you can listen, you can feel, and you can respond instead of being completely reactive. I mean, you can't help reacting in a lot of situations you're going to react like you're going to have certain reactions in the body 
But instead of being impulsive, when you're in your feminine softness, you can let's like let a situation unfold and let yourself sit in it and then see how you're going to respond from there. So I'm just saying <laughs> feminine softness is powerful. There is power there. Okay. And it is not synonymous with getting abused, with being codependent, and allowing yourself to be cheated on and not having a mind of your own. Quite the contrary. When you're in your feminine softness, you know who you are. So just wanted to share those thoughts. I hope you're all uh, enjoying the rest of your weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.